I'm standing in front of the Island Creek Fish Ladder, um, which is right off Tremont Street. And the, this ladder, as you can see behind me, is a series of concrete steps. Uh, it was restored in, uh, a couple years ago and finished in about 2007 as part of a Community Preservation Act project, um, also with the help of an Eagle Scout, uh, as well as some other volunteer and state and town funding. Uh, the ladder uh, leads the herring from this stream here, which comes from the ocean, uh, up underneath Route 3A into a pond, then across Elm Street, and then up until Island Creek Pond, which is where the herring return to uh, spawn. So around this time of year, the town is looking for some help from volunteers to help count the herring um, that are coming up the ladder and returning to the pond. The idea is to try to count. Obviously, people can't be here for every second of the day. Um, and I guess electronic methods that they've used in other communities and other states um, aren't very effective. So the idea is to try to count at least 10% of the herring, which amounts to about nine sections of 10 minutes of watching time each day. So to be a spotter, all you have to do is come down here. This is the Tremont Street location. Uh, you park across the street in the Conservation Land parking lot. You come down here to the fish ladder. And there's a blue cooler here that has a log book and a pencil in it. So you write down the date you're here, the time that you're watching to, the temperature of the water. Uh, I think there's a thermometer in this water, I forgot to check before I reported this. Uh, the conditions of the day and if you saw any fish. The way you count is you look on the very top step. There are always some fish milling around the bottom, but on the top step, if the fish makes it all the way up that ladder and jumps up that top step, starts to swim under the, uh, the bridge here, that's what you would count as a uh, successful... Uh, so this is actually the upper part of the fish ladder, uh, right off Elm Street. Um, off in that direction is Island Creek Pond, which is the spawning ground for the herring. Um, if you look down here, you can see behind me there's two uh, kind of gate cement structures. The upper part was reconstructed as part of the fish ladder rebuilding project. Um, if you'll notice, there's a big hole in the middle of the ladders. The herring runs are a little different than, say, salmon runs. Uh, salmon can actually jump out of the water, so the ladders are much steeper. They have different climbs. Um, herring have to swim through a continuous body of water that can't necessarily leap. Well, behind me is Island Creek, which is a spawning ground for these herring. Uh, it runs down across Elm Street uh, through the uh, two steps we saw there, then down through Mill Pond, and then down uh, that Route 3A fish ladder, and then eventually out to Kingston Bay. The pond here is about 35 acres. It's fed by an underground spring, and um, the herring, while they're in here, um, are protected from being fished. There are also American eel and smelt in this same sort of creek system. Uh, smelt, I believe, you can catch, uh, but herring are a protected species, which is why um, they're trying to be conserved uh, through the ladder and through the restocking program in the lake. Um, so like I said before, uh, the state's been stocking the lake for about three years, so when the herring uh, eventually will grow up and go out to sea, then they'll hopefully start making their way up the fish ladder back to this pond to spawn, and then the whole cycle will start uh, all over again, and um, you know, part of the ecosystem in this area will be preserved for a long time to come.